this Sankirtan Padayatra has been traversing throughout the land of Bharat for 23 years with the timeless message of Bhagavad Gita. Within that time, they have distributed, they have visited many thousands of villages and distributed many lakhs of Bhagavad Gita. India has changed in many ways a lot in the last 23 years. I've been based in this country or in this area now for 30 years. India has probably changed more in the last 30 years than it did in, in maybe a hundred years before that, in many ways. Still there is a interest in and uh, appreciation of Bhagavad Gita. But people's values are changing. People are becoming increasingly self-centered and materialistic. The message of Bhagavad Gita is not irrelevant in modern society. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna states, Yehi dukha yonaya You know this verse? So I'll give the translation. There are so many advertisements. Buy jewelry and gold. Fly to Singapore. Study overseas. Take a computer course. Enjoy. Get money. Enjoy. Be advanced. Be progressive. Enjoy. This is the message coming from every advertisement. And Lord Krishna says, Bhagavan Krishna Saldare, something like that. Yehi sansparsha jabhoga dukha yonaya evate adyanta vanta kaunteha nate shuramate buddha. An intelligent person does not take part in sense gratification. Now we may say that, well, <clears throat> I enjoy myself now. Let us enjoy ourselves now. At least we can have some fun for now. But Lord Krishna says, no, even from the very beginning, this so-called sense enjoyment is simply a source of distress. Adhyanta Vanta, from beginning to end. And that we can practically see, the modern so-called progressive society, everyone is disturbed, no one is happy. Therefore, Lord Krishna says, Nateshu Ramate Buddha. An intelligent person does not take part in this so-called pleasure. Therefore, we can understand the whole society is a society of complete fools. Because they have dedicated all their life, all their endeavor, all their endeavor, energy to something which will only bring them distress. What would you think if you saw someone who is hitting himself on the head with a hammer? Hitting himself on the head with a hammer. You think he's very intelligent? He's a fool. What's he called? Muttal. Okay. He's performing activity. He's doing something which is giving himself pain. So everyone in modern society is muttal, murha. Because they're performing activities which give them distress. They think that it's giving them happiness. The result is distress in this life and in life after life. Nunam pramata kurute vikarma yad indriya pritiya aprinote aprinoti na sadhu manye yata atmanoyam asan apikleshata asadeha. You know this verse? Lord Rishabdev says that certainly persons who are insane who engage in sinful activities for the sake of sense enjoyment, they perform activities which are certain to give them another body to suffer in again. So without the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam, 
people are living a crazy life. I'll just give a very practical example. This is not really spiritual, but it just shows how stupid people are. That traditionally, men in this part of the world, in South India, they wear thin cotton cloth as a vesti or dhoti. But nowadays, most people like to wear some shirt and pant, which is made from polyester, and which is very hot and uncomfortable in April in Tamil Nadu. Now, it would be much more intelligent to wear just a simple cotton vesti with a uturiya or whatever you call it in this language, with a cloth wrapper on top. But because they have some idea that it's progressive and advanced and modern, they're so damn stupid that they dress in clothes which are certain to be very uncomfortable and unhealthy. The whole society is dedicated to ideas of gross sense gratification which are imported from the Western countries. People do not know the value of the teachings of Bhagavad Gita. We may think that, yes, we shall enjoy it. We shall get money and drive a motorbike very fast, have boys and girls all mixing up, laughing, joking, and then abortions. But they don't know that this is uh, entangling themselves in sinful activities. And even now, they're not happy by this. They're full of anxiety. So we don't say don't enjoy. It is the nature of the Atma to enjoy. We are all Atma. We are infinitesimal parts of the Supreme Atma, who is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Krishna Paramatma Bhagavan. Purusham Paramam Divyam Yati Parthanu Chintayam. Lord Krishna speaks that this Supreme Person, namely Himself, that is the person to be meditated upon, O Arjuna. So Krishna is the supreme happy person. In bhakti, we say, don't live like a fool. Don't perform sinful activity. Don't make the goal of your life trying to enjoy on the gross bodily platform. But we say, do enjoy. You should learn how to enjoy. On the pure spiritual platform, Krishna is the supreme enjoyer, and we as infinitesimal parts and parcels of Krishna, if we serve Krishna to contribute to his enjoyment, then we naturally enjoy also. So bhakti, Krishna bhakti, is the supremely enjoyable process. But it is not the enjoyment on the gross sensual platform. It is enjoyment on the pure spiritual platform. In Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna states, Patram Pushpam Param Toyam Yome Bhaktya Prayachati Tadaham Bhakti Upaharitam Ashnami Prayatat Manaha. In the modern age, people are very crazy about going out to different restaurants. They think they will enjoy more by going to different restaurants. But they do not know the pleasure that a devotee experiences when he offers food to Krishna with love. Many people ask us if we are vegetarian. No, we're not vegetarian. And we're not non-vegetarian either. So what are we doing? We're living on air? No, we are Prasad Sevi. We serve Krishna Prasadam. We honor the Prasad, the remnants of food offered to Lord Krishna. The uh, people are doing so many things for enjoyment. In the Western countries, they've devised all kinds of things for enjoyment. If you pay in London, I saw about 10 years ago, 
we were doing Rasi Atra and we saw someone doing a bungee jump. You had to pay 25 pounds at that time to do what's called a bungee jump. That means you climb to a very, very, you have to go up to a very, very high platform, like a 15-story high building. And then you jump off. And you fall down, 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 down. And there's string attached. So when you're like one meter above the, actually you do above the river. So if when you're about one meter above the river, then you stop falling. So at that time you had to pay about 25 pounds to do that. That's about 2,000 rupees, something. One uh, executive at Microsoft Corporation paid $25 million to go on a so-called space trip. They're just trying to find new and new and new things to do to enjoy. And having sex in all the worst ways, imaginable and unimaginable. Having sex in all the worst ways, imaginable and unimaginable. And they're not happy. A devotee is very pure and offers with love to Krishna. Leaf, flower, fruit and water. Why? Krishna becomes very happy by the devotee's offering of love. And seeing Krishna happy, the devotee also becomes happy. These simple activities, worshipping Krishna, Worshipping Tulsi, worshipping the Vaishnavas. This is actually the highest culture and the highest enjoyment. When one is at the highest level of culture, he bows down to Krishna. We think, I will become very powerful, very prominent. We think, or demoniac people think, we shall become very powerful and prominent. These political leaders, people literally bow down to them. And they, the political leaders feel a sense of being very powerful and important. But in a short time, they will, these big powerful people of this world will have to bow down to death. The big political leader of today is the small worm in stool of tomorrow. So real intelligence is not to desire that people shall bow down to me, but that I shall bow down to Krishna. Mamavart manu vartante manushav parta sarvashaha. Everyone is on Krishna's path. Everyone is within the scope of Krishna. If we worship Krishna directly, we go to Krishna. If we deny Krishna, we become subjected to Krishna's material energy and we have to suffer birth after birth. So this Sankirtan Padayatra is not simply a sentimental jumping up and down and singing. It is meant for reviving the highest consciousness of the human being, the purest way of life, the most sophisticated culture, the actual method of enjoyment, real purpose of human life. So please take advantage of this. Don't spoil your human life. Lagdva sudur labamidam bahu sambhavante manusham artadam anityam apiha dhira turnam yatetana patadanam ritya yava nishaya saya vishaya kalu sarvata syat. Did you learn this one yet? I'm quoting so many times. Bhaktisthan Sarasvaktakwa said, I will go on speaking this verse till my last breath. <laughs> it means that having obtained this rare human form of life, one should act in such a way that before dying, he will, not, he will act in such a way that he will not have to be born again. This human form of life is attained after many births. It is very valuable, utilizes it properly. He does not engage in sense gratification because he knows that 
sense gratification is available in every species of life. You want to eat meat? In your next life you can become a tiger. You want to have sex left, right and center? In the next life nature will provide you the opportunity, you can become a monkey. So we should not engage in sense gratification, but we should engage in activities of self-purification. The prime method of self-purification is by chanting the names of Krishna. Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Hare Nama, Eva Kevalam, Kalo Nas, Jeva Nas, Jeva Nas, Jeva Gatir Anyata. Kali Kale, Nama Rupe, Krishna Avata, Nam Hoite Hoi Sarva Jagate Nishta. In this age of Kali, Krishna has descended as his name. Simply by chanting the holy name, the whole universe can be delivered. Nam binu kali kale nahiara dharma sarva mantra saranam eishastra marma Without the holy name, there is no dharma in Kali Yoga. All the shastras, the essence of all the shastras is to state that the holy name is the essence of all mantras. So we don't have to study all the Shastras. If we chant the holy names, everything is perfect. Rig Veda, Tayajur Veda, Sama Veda, Piyataravanaha, Adhitas, Tena Yenoktam, Haririt Yaksha Dvayam. For one who chants these two syllables, Ha, Ri, it is understood that he has, by doing so, he has studied all the Rig, Sam, Sama, Yajur, and Atarva Vedas. Please chant the holy names of Krishna. Don't waste your human form of life. The essence of all Vedic knowledge is given in the books of Srila Prabhupada. Please don't waste your time in useless pursuits such as watching TV, trying to be a so-called success in this material world. Just worship Krishna. Of course, as long as we're in this world, we have to do something. So if you're a businessman, do business, all right. But don't forget Krishna. Chant Hare Krishna. And don't do business, just business, 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 but if money is coming, then donate for spreading this Sankirtan movement. If you're a journalist, then you're giving news of what's going on in the world. Through your writing, tell people about the activities of ISKCON and the message of Bhagavad Gita. If you are a housewife, Tell your children about Krishna. In the modern age, young women, they don't want to be housewives. They want to be office girls. But actually the female body is given by nature to have children. And children require to be looked after by their mothers. So the mothers should... What's going on? The, the women, they have children and then they go to work, they want to go to work and they spend the money on the uh, kindergarten and daycare. They could stay at home and look after their children themselves, but they don't want to because they're rakshasis. So better than following this rakshasa civilization, so-called civilization, live a sane life Chant Hare Krishna and tra train your children to be saints, not demons. You want that your children will be good, but if your child is just brought up in the normal way that most children are brought up today, they will simply be rakshasas. 
they will be selfish, lusty, greedy. They won't care for their parents or for anybody. They'll be smoking, drinking, having sex. This is the normal way of life for the children of sophisticated, so-called sophisticated families. So why do you want to follow this demoniac civilization? Why don't you chant Hare Krishna and make Krishna the goal of your life? Why don't you understand that this so-called advanced civilization is killing all the good qualities of the human being? The traditional Indian way of life was to encourage people to lead a saintly life. The present way of life is to make people into demons. So our request is don't be demons. Chant Hare Krishna. Save yourself from the uh, foolish and degrading way of life. Understand what the actual purpose of human life is. This Sankirtan Padhyatra and the whole of Iskon is meant for preaching this message. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Any question, comment, objection? If you like, you please say. What I've said it might not be the kind of thing you hear usually. Generally, we're, everyone is saying, yes, work hard, get ahead, be number one, get on top. We are saying this endeavor to be so-called getting ahead is simply foolishness. Don't try to make yourself very big. Simply bow down at the lotus feet of Krishna. How big can you be? You want to be big like an elephant? Big like a buffalo? This uh, Virapan, he was very... He was a big bandit. Then he got a big load of bullets in his body. Big, big politicians and kings, they come and go. This Tamil Nadu, previously this where was the, there was the Chola kingdom, the Pandya kingdom, what was the other one? Chera. Chera. So this area was under which one? Safe, first of all. So this area was under which one? Malava. Okay. So what, 500 years ago, there was the Malava king? 500 years ago, here there was Malava king? Before that? Hmm? Oh, the Nawab came. 500 years ago, the Nawab came here. This is under Muslim rule. What was his full name? No one knows. <laughs> that time he must have been so powerful, so famous, thousands of servants, and now no one knows his name. Oh, that was the Nawab. That's material life. Let us bow down at the lotus feet of Krishna and take shelter in the eternal protection of his Abhai Charan, his fearless lotus feet. No question means everyone's completely convinced. All right, we'll see you all at Mongol Arti tomorrow morning. This is how human life should be led. Instead of watching TV up till one o'clock at night, you get up four o'clock in the morning and go to Mongol Arti. People think it's very nice to sleep very late. The students, they're sleeping after eight o'clock in the morning. 
and Vallabhadhyanaga. I'm chanting my rounds and they're snoring. Eight o'clock in the morning. By that time we've already been up for five hours. Chanting the names of Krishna. And they're simply spoiling their life. Young men and sleeping. Jeev Jago, Jeev Jago, Gora Chanda Bale, Kutunidra Jao Maya Pisha Chirakola. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is calling out, Wake up, sleeping souls! How long will you sleep on the lap of the witch called Maya? Bhaji Bo Boliya Eshe Shangshara Bitore, Tomari, what is that? Boliya Ta. Boliya Rohili Tumi Ovidara Bore. That, uh, when, you were in, when I, you were in the womb, you prayed to me that I will worship you. But having, for, having forgotten Krishna, you are simply in the darkness of ignorance. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Tomare lahite ami hoinu avatar, toma bine bandhu arake ache toma. To save you. I have come to this world. Apart from me, who is your friend? Enechi o shodi maya nashi barolagi. I have brought the medicine that will destroy the disease of material life. Harinama maha mantra lao tumimagi. You see, the Hari Krishna mantra. Take it, beg him. Bhaka divinoda prabhur charani pariya. Aim. Ah. A Maha Mantra, no, I'm forgetting. A Hari Nama Mantra, Lai Lama Gyo. This Bhaktivinoda Thakur is falling at the lotus feet of Krishna and taking the begging and taking the holy name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna.